the chaos which preceded Zimbabwe's elections on the 23rd of August continued well into the night. A number of constituencies in the country's two largest cities, Bulawayo and Harare, could not commence voting in time due to a shortage of ballot papers. Some of the stations went into the late of the night without registering a single vote because there were no ballot papers for council elections. President Emerson Mnangakwa had to be forced to issue a late night statutory instrument to extend voting, which usually takes 12 hours to the following day, which is the 24th of August. Although Mnangakwa had extended the voting process, some people complained that they were turned away from polling stations, telling them that voting had closed. The opposition Triple C which is the main challenger of Nangakwa's ruling ZANU-PF, accuses the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission of carefully orchestrating this in a bid to benefit Nangakwa's bid to retain power. There were some issues here and there in terms of check-off. Um, there were some delays in terms of check-off, but uh, we, the province then took off and uh, the polling process went on very well, calmly. No incidents reported, but obviously with uh, big numbers being uh, seen in, in, in a lot of areas. And um, yeah, and then that process went on up until the closing time. And um, uh, but what then transpired was that those that had started late due to the delayed um, receipt of, of some election materials um, had, in terms of uh, the act. And in terms of the statutory instrument that was then promulgated uh, to extend, to compensate for the um, lost time during the early hours so that at least they had a continuous running period and ensure that all the members, all the registered voters do take their chance and cast their vote. So as we are um, addressing you now, we have I think about seven of our wards that are still running to ensure that all the voters are given their due time to cast their votes. We had a slight hitch in that we had a ballot delay, uh, the local authority ballot, for both our wards, Ward 17 and Ward 7. Ward 17, it came a bit late, I think about two hours delay, and that delayed the start of voting. But we also had the 12 hours that is needed for the process to run continuously uninterrupted. So that happened. So all our polling stations in Ward 17 started polling around nine but we also finished around nine in the evening and counting has been in progress and the update that i have now is that counting is done and whilst counting has been done uh, the officers are now being taken over to the ward uh, after the verification of the results that they, they've been doing the 11 being filled then ward seven we started a bit early i think the earliest was 8 40 a.m and so uh, counting started also at 8.40 after closure of poll. And then we are having all of them now going to Oreo Boys High, which is our ward center or ward command center. So at the moment, we are rounding up on collecting all our polling officers from their polling stations, including a healer. I think a healer is a bit of a, a challenge because we had 13 tens at Hila, and so at Hila at the moment we will be having uh, the ward, ward officers going there to just round up so that they can pick everybody. Although voting was still continuing in some of the affected areas, results began to trickle in with Triple C maintaining its stranglehold in the urban centers while ZANU PF continued its usual wins in the rural areas. Despite this, Triple C made some inroads into some of ZANU-PF's old territories, especially in rural Matepeleland, and also 
kicking out independent candidate Temba Mliswa from the Norton constituency. Mliswa has accepted defeat. Yeah, Tim Buru, how are you? I hope um, you're doing well. Please, Ndino Kumbra Kuti, don't be discouraged. I've considered defeat, the Vuma defeat. Ndugo Mboro Ngwa Omari. Ndugo Zwaidao. Inina Hapana Kana Chanjino Shushikana Nacho. I want you to know that. But Mangwana Ticha Sangana. Uh, as a people, Nas in fact to Sangana as a people. Kuma 8-9, to Kurukura Rese. And to it a way forward. Ticha Atenda Na Zwakanaka. As if for now, Ndula Kutendai. Lazarese Ramakabata. Contest election. And I hope you could But recently, this was a And uh, we'll meet tomorrow. So don't lose hope, please. Thank you. Mkoli Singube, AVG News, Johannesburg.